today we will talk about the mendel's experimental plant mendel selected uh, by some sativum or garden pea for his hybridization experiments this uh, he selected by some sativum mendel selected by some sativum garden pea or edible pea for his hybridization experiments this uh, actually this uh, garden pea or pisum sativum it was abundantly growing in his monastery garden and he observed mendel observed two different types of seeds in the pea varieties in his monastery garden and he became how this mendel became interested in the pea plant he became interested in the pea plant because he observed two different types of seeds of of the pea plant of pea plants growing in the monastery garden and from there he became interested in the pea plant he observed different types of contrasting traits in the pea plant this uh, pea plant it shows it shows easily observable detectable it shows easily detectable contrasting traits in pea plant for example some pea varieties were tall some pea varieties were dwarf some pea varieties were having round seeds some having irregular seeds so easily detectable contrasting traits for example uh, some pea plants were having or having tall or other having dwarf these are contrasting traits some pea plants were having seed round seeds and some having wrinkled seeds this uh, pea plant is uh, normally nature it is self pollinating naturally as it is having bisexual flowers this pea plant is having bisexual flowers it undergoes self pollination and self fertilization but this uh, pea plant it can be cross pollinated it can be cross breed manually or artificially and for that um, for cross pollination for cross pollination emasculation is required for cross pollination between two different varieties of pea plants cross pollination is this emasculation is required what is emasculation is emasculation is simply a process where in a bisexual flower anthers are removed so as to prevent self pollination and self fertilization so the operation of removal of anthers from a bisexual flower is known as emasculation and then in that bisexual in that particular flower which has been emasculated in that emasculated flower cross pollination can be can occur that in cross pollination the pollen from the male parent is dusted on this uh, uh, emasculated flower and that will lead to cross pollination or cross fertilization so we can say that this uh, pea plant naturally normally it is self pollinating plant but it can be cross breed it can be cross pollinated Um, by the process of emasculation so this uh, another important feature regarding the pea plant is that uh, uh, 
uh, it is an annual plant it is an annual plant uh, it completes its life cycle in one in a single growing season it forms a vegetative phase as well as reproductive phase that means flowers in a single season that means uh, it completes its whole life cycle in a one season so it was also a reason that uh, Mendel selected this pea plant for his hybridization experiment so another important aspect of this pea plant Mendel selected seven pairs of contrasting traits of the pea plant for his hybridization experiment so Mendel selected seven pairs of contrasting traits of pea plant for his hybridization experiments so we can write down here we have a trait this trait has two this trait it has contrasting forms contrasting form then we have phenotype and we will see f1 generation so trait is for example trait is height height of pea plant so we have two forms here we have two forms here we can write uh, dominant form in case of contrasting form we have dominant dominant form and recessive form so we have first is height height of pea plant or also called a stem height we have two either it is tall represented by capital T capital T and recessive we have dwarf represented by small t small t the phenotype is it would be like this this is tall pea plant this is dwarf pea plant so this is tall pea plant this is dwarf pea plant in the F1 generation all pea plants are tall then we have second one seed shape then seven pairs of contrasting traits of pea plant are selected by the mental for his hybridization experiment first second is tall third is seed shape seed color fourth is pod shape pod color sixth is flower flower position and seventh is flower color so second one is seed shape seed shape is round that means these seeds have, seeds have a smooth seed surface that is round capital R capital R then the recessive is wrinkled it is represented by small or smaller seed shape would be seed 
सरफेस आइदर द सीड सरफेस इज स्मूथ दैट इज राउंड और इट इज रिंकलड इट वुड बी लाइक दिस सो दिस इज स्मूथ सीड सरफेस और वट इज कॉल्ड एज राउंड सीड सरफेस राउंड एंड दिस इज रिंकलड सो सीड सरफेस इज आइदर स्मूथ सीड सरफेस और रिंकलड एंड इन द एफ वन जनरेशन और If the pea plant with round seeds is crossed with the pea plant with circular seeds, and in the F1 generation, we'll get pea plant with round seed. So all pea plants are round. Then we have another trait: seed color. Seed color can be yellow. Color of seed can be yellow, capital Y, capital Y, and it can be green. It can be green, so it is small Y, small Y. So it would be represented here like this. We have yellow, and we have. So this is. Suppose this is yellow, and this is green. Green, yellow color seed and green color seed, and if the pea plant with yellow color seed is crossed with the pea plant with green color seed in the F1 generation, all pea plants are having all yellow colored seeds. Then pod shape. Pod shape can be. in some p varieties we have got inflated pod shape and then it is capital i capital i it is constricted then recessive form is constricted it is small i small i so the pod shape would be like this it is inflated it is inflated in case of it is inflated pod shape constricted would be like this it's constricted if pea plant with inflated seed pod shape and constricted pod shape are crossed in the f1 generation all pea plants are having inflated inflated pod shape because inflated pod shape is dominant dominant character pod color it can be green green capital g capital g and pod color can be yellow yellow small g small g so we have green it would be like this pod color pod color would be suppose this is green this is yellow so this is green pod color this is yellow pod color if two pea plants one pea plant having green pod color another pea plant having yellow pod color or crossed then in the f1 generation all pea plants are having green pod color that means why green pod color is in the f1 generation because this uh, green pod color it is a dominant character as compared to that of the green pod color then we have flower position it is it can be axial axial and terminal axial capital a capital a terminal small a small a so it would be this axial flower position means this uh, flower is in the axil of the leaf so it would be like this so this p 
pea plant this is for example leaf the flower will be here it is in the axle of the leaf this is axial when the flower is in the axle of the leaf it is called as axial flower position then a uh, flower position can be also terminal for example this is flower the flower is here this is terminal this is terminal terminal flower position this terminal flower position then we have in the f1 generation all pea plants if the uh, pea plant with axial flower position is crossed with pea plant and terminal flower position then in the f1 generation all pea plants are having axial all pl pea plants are having axial flower position because axial is dominant character over the terminal flower position then flower color flower color can be violet and it is white dominant is violet that is colored so capital V capital V and it is recessive form is small v small v violet flower color is the dominant character well as white flower color is a recessive character so in the it would be like this this is colored flower flower is colored flower is white this is white flower so in the And in the F1 generation, if a cross is made between pea plant with violet flowers, the pea plant with white flowers, then in the F1 generation, we'll get pea plants with all colored. Because colored uh, flower, this is flower, flower color. All pea plants would be having colored flowers because the uh, violet or colored flower color is dominant character as compared to that of the uh, white flower color. So this is contrasting form. Also, we can write down it is a contrasting character. So contrasting character a contrasting form. So these are the seven pairs of contrasting characters of the pea plant which are selected by the Mendel for his hybridization experiments. Thanks.